All right, I wasn't expecting much from Mahoyo, but I guess three debate clubs will be our New Year gift. But anyway, I'm done talking about it. I know some of y'all are wondering the amount of primogems we will be able to get in the first phase of version 4.4. Worry not, I got you covered. I hope these primogems will help you get your favorite character. And do let me know who you're going for. For me, I'm staying loyal to Arlequino and Nouvellet. Let's continue with the video. The 4.4 maintenance compensation will give us 600 primogems. If you're new to the game, Mihoyo gives 600 primogems when an update is happening because of the servers which will be shut off before the update, the daily commissions. Since the first phase will be up for 21 days and we get 60 primogems each day by doing the dailies, that's a total of 1260 primogems. The new area Chen Yu Vale has 31 teleport waypoints. Unlocking each gives you 5 primogems, adding up to 155 primogems. Plus, exploring the new area might give you a total of 2,000 primogems, if not more. Character test runs for Nahida and Cloud Retainer will give you 40 primogems. New area means new world quest. Doing the new world quests will give you, let's say, 400 primogems. You could get more if the world quests are a major ones. Chen Yu Vale introduces new achievements, offering up to 300 primogems, and Xianyun's story quest gives an extra 60 primogems. There is a new offering system in Chen Yu Vale. It will give you some materials, and importantly, 320 primogems. Spiral Abyss reset will happen twice on February 1st and February 16th. Even if you stop at floor 11, that's an extra 900 primogems. Paymon Shop refreshes on February 1st, which is tomorrow, and you can grab five intertwined fates, which is 800 primogems. Now for the events. There will be three events in the first phase. The Lantern Rite Festival, which is the main event, giving us 1,000 primogems and a free four-star Li Yue character selector. Before the Lantern Rite event, there will be a seven days login event, which will give us 10 intertwined fates, which is 1,600 primogems. You better log in daily to receive all 10 fates. The third event being Triumphant Frenzy event. Since it's a small event, you can expect a total of 420 primogems and many more materials. In the first phase of version 4.4, we can get a total of 8,275 primogems, which is equivalent to 51 wishes. The three fates which we're supposed to get through mail will be in the second phase. I will make sure to make a new video about the second phase soon, so keep an eye out. So what do you think? Who will you wish for? Let me know down in the comments below. Until next time.